be installed. Uninstall the air filtration, high speed wing pipe, and 45 degree curved plug. Then take off the cover of cylinder. Loose the four bolts on the countershaft cover at right down position of auxiliary case. Take down the countershaft of auxiliary case. Take the QH50 PTO and install the five inner hexangular bolts around and the two long bolts at the outside of bearing cover. Take the vent tuck of PTO and install the cylinder cover and gasket. Loose the inner hexangular blocks with a special tool. Then detach the housing and PTO. Take a hollow shaft, mesh the yoke and yoke shaft compounding. Add gaskets at the rear end of counter shaft. No need sealing mucus if the original gasket is intact. Then fix the PTO housing onto the rear cover of transmission with four inner hexangular bolts and spring gasket compounding. Take a hollow shaft. Mesh the yoke and yoke shaft compounding. Then install them onto the spline key of length and counter shaft of auxiliary case. Mount two rolling needle bearing and input gears onto the hollow shaft. Then fix it with a baffle of input gears and flange surface bolts. Paste some sealing mucus on the interface of the PTO housing. Lubricate yoke shaft and hose on the cover of PTO cover. Connect the cover and housing of PTO. There are no gaskets between PTO cover and the PTO. Fix the housing and cover with five inner hexangular bolts and two long bolts. Install the piston and spring. Place some lubricating grease onto the inner wall of cylinder. Install cylinder and PTO. Screw down the inner hexangular bolts. Install vent plug. Mist position cylinder assembly consists of mist position cylinder, mist position piston, locating ring, O-shaped sealing ring, a guide pin. Check out the parts and base lubricating grease on the wall of cylinder. Add gasket on the mist cylinder assembly. Install it at the rear part of cylinder. Attention! Don't base sealing milkers on the gasket. Tie sealing belt on the plug, a 45 degree curved pipe and high speed wing pipe. Install it to mist cylinder. Fix air filtration adjuster to the cylinder. Shift the controlling lever to neutral position. Connect the electromagnetic valve with the air incoming vent of a three-way pipe. Then use another pipe to connect air incoming vent and the other air incoming vent of the three-way pipe. After the air goes through, the auxiliary case is at missed position. The PTO is to hang on. The air pressure is about 0.7 to 0.8 MP. According to specific situation, shift the controlling lever to required position. The PTO starts to work. Pass the electromagnetic valve, then use the PTO when the truck is static. Loose the two bolts at the outer side of bearing cover. And install the five inner hexangular bolts and two long bolts at the outer side of the bearing cover. Take the vent plug of PTO. And install the switch of indicating light of PTO. And install the gasket and cover of cylinder. Then loose the inner hexangular bolts. Detach the PTO housing. And install the fine teeth bolt. Take the hollow shaft, mesh the yoke and yoke shaft compounding. Take down 
two rolling needle bearings and input gears, loose and takeaway baffle and flange surface bolts. Release the hex bolts and spring gasket compounding. Take off the housing of PTL. QH70 PTO, cylinder, four bolts, brand card of the PTO. The customer can choose the suitable one. When install the rear PTO on the RT11509C transmission, the lengthened conker shaft assembly of auxiliary case with the spline at its outer end should be used as the welding counter shaft assembly, or the PTO cannot be installed. Take QH70 PTO, uninstall the 10 inner hex angular bolts, uninstall rear cover of bearing and four bolts, take down the bearing cover, then detach the cover of PTO from the housing. Uninstall the four bolts on counter shaft cover at the right down part of auxiliary case. Then release the three bolts on rear cover. As the small gaskets on three bolts. As the big gaskets on four bolts. No need sealing mucus if the original gasket is intact. Then fix the PTL housing onto the rear cover of transmission with four inner hexangular bolts and spring gasket compounding. Uninstall the flange. Lift PTO, match the hollow shaft and counter shaft with spline in it. Install locating pin. Use pin inner hex bolts to fasten housing of PTO and side housing. Screw down the fine tooth bolt of hollow shaft. Install rear cover of bearing, spin and install flange. At last install convex rim bolt. Assembling ends. Shift the controlling lever to neutral position. Use one wind pipe to connect the air hole of adjusting valve and the air hole of PTO cylinder. The air pressure is 0.41 to 0.44 MP. Connect the electromagnetic valve with the air incoming vent of a three-way pipe. Then use another pipe to connect air incoming vent and the other air incoming vent of the three-way pipe. After the air goes through, the auxiliary case is at most position. The PTO is to hang on. The air pressure is about 0.7 to 0.8 MP. According to a specific situation, shift the controlling lever to required position. The PTO starts to work. Uninstall the convex green bolt of flange, extract the flange and active gear of odometer. Uninstall the bearing rear cover of the hollow shaft, extract the fine teeth bolts, release the 10 inner hex angular bolts around, detach rear cover of PTO and its compounding, release the 7 bolts which are used to connect PTO housing and rear cover of auxiliary case, detach the PTO housing. This document consists of fast people's understanding about fast train counter shaft transmission and lots of after sale experiences, offering people this fast treasure with no reservation. Time is limited and confined by my can. There must be somewhere inappropriate. Please point out.